You okay? Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. <laughs> hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah. But I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who's he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius's lab. I'll let you know what I find on Delaney. Finally, for the love of God, we have a new side mission. Hopefully it's the one I'm thinking of. Okay. So, thank you for allowing me to punch people with my electric fist. That was very satisfying. For now, we have a new suit ready to be bought. It is the Spider-Man 2099 black suit. This thing is a creation of beauty. Just look at the glisten on that ass. Look at that. Oh man, I can buy it right now. I probably should, to be completely honest. But for the most part, we're still going to go in order a little bit. And we haven't really worn this one long enough to warrant changing. So maybe we'll do a little bit more um, on that front. Uh, for now, I think I either want to get the chain finisher or the air yank just to have it ready. Um, otherwise, I think we're good on not using the one. Can we even buy anything with one? This is the only thing we can buy with one. Should we just get rid of the ones we can do with one? No, that's too long. We'll wait until later. Oh, Tombstone. Okay. Uh, let's do this one then. Let's start this one. This is very interesting. You can save it for later potentially, but this Tombstone's a pretty endearing character, I think, as far as the lore of this game goes. And it's not too bad. But I am waiting on one transmission. One that hasn't begun yet between Spider-Man and freaking Taskmaster. I don't know where he's where he's been or what he's doing. Just jerking off in the corner of New York over there, but good God. But I should probably take a, a, a break here pretty soon because I gotta go move my car. I ended up parking somewhere where not, I don't necessarily can't park, but it's gotta be moved by a certain point and I wanna make sure to do that before it gets too late in the morning and there's people doing Can their business. Not? Sorry to call so late. My mind's bursting with ideas. We've been thinking too small, Peter. Why replace missing limbs with facsimiles when we can improve upon them? People who've lost an arm understandably want it back, but we can give them something better. The human body doesn't need to be our default. We can go so far beyond it. Just some thoughts to conjure with. Doc's really giving it both barrels. I hope he doesn't burn himself out. Yeah, no kidding. God forbid. All right, let's get started. This is a two-part side mission that uh, requires our full attention. So for 1,500 experience, you know what? I'll take it. While I'm here, I should examine the transmitter MJ found. Oh, I didn't even realize we were coming back to the office this time soon. All right. Well, at least I'm in my civvies. Don't got to dirty up a lab coat when you don't need to. And I wonder, can we finish the spectrograph? Cause that also gives us a pretty decent amount of experience. Question. <gasps> They're still locked. Damn. All right, that's fine. Don't need to worry too much about that. For now. If I can reverse engineer this. It should track Tombstone shipments. Good to know. I love putting currents together. It's my favorite pastime. And to do this, hmm. Yeah, lots of straight lines. Going along the straight and narrow. What we can do though. 
There's a lot of this nonsense with spooky music. Uh oh. Alright, just put a couple of those down. Slay and brick. Okay, let's go with this one. And that's not gonna work, is it? Wait just a minute. I've been doing this wrong my whole life. How dare nobody tell me about the problems. I was wondering why I didn't use more of those. Here we go. So I need a large number of things. Let's go and rotate that. You need to be significantly larger, and you need to be just slightly smaller. Done. All right, let's find Tombstone, that baby. Do it. Time for a test run. Oh, okay. Cool. Glad to know that we needed to come all the way over here to do this, but yeah, it's fine. I'm sure, Doc doesn't mind that we just popped in and left all the lights on, all the heaters running, and the and the fans over the computers. Hey, just gotta follow the signal. Should lead to whatever it is Tombstone's moving. Tombstone. This guy's the mother of all headaches. Impermeable skin plus zero morals equals bad time. Hope running a chop shop's the worst thing he's up to. <laughs> no kidding, man. No kidding. Alright. So, as we awkwardly make our way across New York, ladies and gentlemen, my name is... Allison Cruz, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is Spider-Man, and uh, we're gonna go deal with some side mission stuff until we figure out what our next main mission is. And before we started this one, right before entering the lab, we ended up getting a transmission at the very last second. And I'm so hoping that it wasn't Taskmaster, because that would be utterly devastating. I'd be so sad. But that's okay. We'll get him eventually. I, I'm sure we will, and... Gee, you don't think it's this thing? There. That truck. Okay, well. Out for a Sunday drive? <laughs> His friend is. Spider Man! Call for backup! Oh, I'm sorry, but his buddy just <laughs> waited there for a second. Ooh, hey. Okay. So, something that's, oh my god, look at that web. Um, oh, you're a civilian. Um, when enemies start riding in on motorcycles, those are a fantastic thing to throw at people because they are so powerful and it's hilarious. Um, <laughs> alright, or we could just miss every single time. But they explode and it's hilarious. So, for now, stop throwing things at me and stop letting light posts guard you against the inherent dangers of riding motorcycles. I know it's very safe if you're not a dumbass, but I I do not subscribe to this notion that you should be able to survive that. All right, get your, god damn, the motorcycles, man. I just can't make them connect. All right. Hey there, sir. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, what was that about guns, sir? Whoa. Gang down. <laughs> Let's see what's in that truck. I heard there was a disturbance. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look. These men just How did you guys get on this side? Interesting. And not wait, is that the side that I got them on? Huh. Uh, chemical containers. But they're scrubbed clean. Looks like they came from the Alchemax plant in Harlem, but what was in them? I don't know, and but this man is clipping. And that sound means the end of our lightning round. Should head to Alchemax when I get a chance and find out what was in those barrels. Tombstone's up to something. Probably illegal. Definitely dangerous. Yes, for sure. And for 1500 experience, that's the easiest that we've earned in a while. Hey, do you have time to check something out for me? No, but if you ask nicely... Just got a call about a suspicious looking <gasps> box on a rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. I could call in the bomb squad, but if it's just some kid's science project... Yeah, I know. Budget crisis, yada yada yada. So... Uh, will you please check it out? There's the magic word! I hope it's some kid's science project. Man, I miss those days. School projects are so much easier than real-life projects. 
uh, Peter speaks the truth, but this is exactly what I was looking for. This comes at the result of finishing the internet famous side mission, although it probably takes this long to activate for what reason exactly, I don't know. But once Yuri calls you, a group of terrorists assassinate American citizens in a bomb. We get a podcast. How is it possible that instead of being wiped out of existence, these masked criminals are still at large and still striking at innocent people like Oscorp CFO Charles Standish in their own homes? How? You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, uh, my cousin's a corrections officer, and he says the demons they've arrested aren't talking. They clam up, won't even speak to their lawyers. This underscores a concern I've had about these demons. They're not regular criminals. They might not even be ordinary terrorists, although they certainly commit terrorist acts. But it looks to me more and more like they're a cult. Are you kidding me? Those kind of people are out of their minds. They'll do anything. It's horrifying, isn't it? Does this mean that we have to live in fear? To be constantly looking over our shoulders? To expect an attack at any moment? My opinion, folks, the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, J. Jonah, I'm sorry to say, but you are whack as hell. Let's get this challenge box on the road. Hmm, looks military grade. Weird. Spider Man, so you found one of my recon points. Who is this? Wrong question. The correct one is can you stop the bombs I've planted? Mystery man's got recon points spread all over the city. Uh, so, this is where one of the most frustrating parts of the game comes through. Are these hyper difficult challenges that they expect you to complete perfectly. And that's a bit of an over exaggeration, but some of these are you have to complete so optimally that it's not even worth it to do it. For each one that you complete uh, with the gold star rating, um, you'll be able to get up to six challenge tokens per recon point, and it's uh, very useful. And this is stuff that will eventually be repeated, so I'll do the one, and then I'll go ahead and finish uh, you know, the other similar one. So, for example, we have a bomb challenge. We need to go around and as quickly as possible destroy bombs, and it kind of works the same way as taking it out of the truck and then shooting it with your web, but you have to get there extremely fast, and um, as you can tell, even just getting the minimum score on the spectacular level, it gets you three. So you get plenty for these. Uh, drone challenge is basically just, you know, follow the waypoints and then destroy the drone at the end. Some of those are really easy, but other times you have to be right on top of it. And it's more uh, kind of a challenge of memorization. Then you have some of my favorite ones, which include, but are not limited to, if I can find it, uh, stealth missions. Um... So we have bomb, we have drone. Do we have... Maybe they're not going to show up yet. Huh. Well, you get some stealth missions where you have to get through it as quickly as possible without being seen. And the second someone notices you, you're done. And it's fun, you know, but... That's, that might just be me. So let's start with the bomb computer's challenge. computer's tracking bombs around the district. And they're about to go off. I gotta move. Yeah, you do. All right, let's do this. So you need to get to every single one of your objectives as quickly as you possibly can. And you need to be absurdly accurate and concise. Web muffled it pretty well. I did it now. Ugh. And web zip and get your speed, accuracy. Don't get caught on web or walls. And hopefully you'll be fine. Ugh. Okay. It's extremely stressful, so I will not be getting all perfects um, just as a heads up <laughs> I want to give you guys some semblance of um, one more. standards <laughs> but um, you can do pretty decently on most of these uh, some of the bomb ones aren't nearly as bad but you just gotta definitely zip to them as quickly as possible and spend as little time in the air as possible so let's see what we got yes pretty good about myself right now <sighs> First try and we got the ultimate, which means we got six challenge tokens. Um, I barely got it. If I was even 
a second later, I would have been just under. It doesn't seem like it, but they make that bar ridiculously high. So stay close to the ground and just, you know, zip to them. It's your best friend. Oh, that's awesome. 